In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the step down method to allocate the cost of multiple support departments when those support departments happen to provide support to each other. So let's take an example where we have an adventure company with two main operating divisions. We provide guided mountaineering trips up mountains such as Mount Everest. And then we also do a kayaking guide service where we take people on rivers and do whitewater rafting. So with these two divisions, we receive support for those divisions from the HR department and also from an administrative staff department, right? So these are our support divisions, and they provide support to both mountaineering and the kayaking guide service, but they also provide support to each other, right? So let's say the administrative staff has an office manager. Well, the HR department might have been in charge of hiring that office manager. So the support departments are not only providing support to the operating divisions, but they're also providing support to each other. And so now with the step down method, we're going to try and allocate some of those costs that, that go between the support departments instead of the direct method where we just ignored any interplay between the support departments and just allocated everything to the operating divisions. So let's get into the numbers. Let's do an example here. Let's say that the HR department is a total of 20,000 hours worth of work. And let's say that 12,000 of those hours have to do with the mountaineering department, 4,000 have to do with the kayaking department, and 4,000 have to do with the administrative staff support department, right? So now when we go to allocate and we say, okay, can we allocate this cost, the, the administrative support, they're using some of the HR. So can we allocate some of the $30,000 in costs that are associated with the HR? Can we allocate some of that, not just to mountaineering and to kayaking, but also to administrative staff? And the answer is yes, with the step down to it. But here's one important caveat. With this step down method, we have to rank the depart the support departments, right? So we have to rank them. And I'm, I'm gonna explain why that'll be important in a minute. But so let's say that we rank human resources number one and we rank administrative staff number two. All right, now I'm going I'm to explain this whole rank concept in a minute. It'll become very clear, but let's just go about allocating the cost for the HR department first, okay? So we go to allocate these costs. So how do we do that? Well, if Mountaineering uses 12,000 out of the total 20,000 hours that are used by a human resources department, we could basically say, okay, well, let's take 12 over 20 and let's multiply that by 30,000 because 30,000 is the total cost for the HR department, right? So that's going to give us $18,000. So what does that mean? It means 18,000 of this 30,000 in cost is going to go to the Mountaineering Guide Service, right? Now, let's do the kayaking. So kayaking is going to be 4 out of 20. 4 out of 20 times 30,000, which is $6,000. So 6,000 of this 30,000 in HR costs is going to be allocated to the kayaking division. Okay. Now the administrative support staff, right? Now we do that. It's got 4,000 hours, actually the same as kayaking. So we're going to have 4 over 20 times... 30,000 is going to equal $6,000, right? So that's 6,000. Here's what's going to happen to that 6,000. It's going to get added to the administrative staff amount, right, that we already had pre-allocation. Administrative staff was 40,000 in costs. We're going to add that 6,000, okay? And so now it's going to have 46,000 in costs, and that's going to become important in a moment. Right, so let's just understand now. We've allocated thirty thousand in cost. The if we add up the eighteen plus the six plus the six, we've allocated the full thirty thousand dollars of HR costs. Right, eighteen went to mountaineering, six grand went to kayaking, and six grand went to the administrative staff support department. Right, so we've allocated some of the HR costs to another support department to administrative staff. Now, here's where the ranking becomes important. Number two, so now we're going to go and allocate the second ranked one, administrative staff, right? So now we're going to allocate not the 40 original, but now the, the 46 because 6,000 has been allocated to administrative staff. So we have to allocate now and parcel out 46. But here's the thing with the step-down method. 
This 46, even though we know that 10, the, the, uh, 10,000 hours of administrative staff was used by HR, we do not allocate anything back to HR, right? HR is done with, right? It was the first one in the sequence, and once you go to sequence two or to the second one, you don't allocate anything back to the first one. The first one is done with. Right, it's basically we we've done everything we're gonna do with HR. HR's costs now have gone to zero. We've allocated them all out. If you were to try and allocate some of this forty-six thousand back to HR, now HR's costs would no longer be zero, and so then you'd have to allocate some of that. And that's actually what we're gonna get into in our next video with the reciprocal method. But that's not how the step down method works. So step down with the ranking system. Which whenever you go down to the next rank, you never allocate anything back to the previous rank, okay? So HR is done with, so we don't have to concern ourselves with this 10,000 hours here that was done with, with related HR. So what do we look at? Well, we just look at the 15,000 hours of mountaineering, 15,000 of kayaking, right? And so we're gonna take 15 divided by 30, here, let's see here if we got enough space, 15 over 30 times 46,000, okay, and that's gonna give 23,000, 23,000 that's gonna be allocated to mountaineering, okay, and then the same thing, 15 over 30 times 46,000 for kayaking, and again, it's 46,000 because we're included that 6,000 cost from HR that got allocated to the admin staff. So now 23,000 is gonna go to the kayaking guide service, okay? And now the administrative staff, all of the costs have been allocated, now it's at zero, so we're done. Now, if you want to calculate, and you're, you're curious, and say, well, how much total ended up getting allocated to the mountaineering guide service? Well, mountaineering guide service got 41,000, of all the costs, and the kayaking service got allocated 29,000. 6,000 ended up going to being allocated to administrative staff, right? And ultimately nothing was allocated from to, to the HR department.